Hi everyone and welcome back to my 1955 home renovation. Lots has happened since you were last here. I've been working away one or two days a week um, around my other work for clients and I'm glad to say I'm probably 95% done with the rip out stage. Um, I've stripped pretty much all of the walls, all of the carpets are up. Got a real treat for you with the carpets in the hall and the living room that we found an original beautiful oak parquet flooring under the carpets. It's absolutely amazing. Um, and I actually spoke to the old, the wife of the old owner um, and she said that they always had the parquet flooring out but as the guy got older they wanted to put carpet down in case he had a fall. But it's absolutely beautiful, can't wait to show you that. I've removed the kitchen which I'm in now, um, or most of it, I've kept the sink um, so we've got water supply. I've removed the bathroom today, which is why I'm a bit rosy. Um, cast iron bath and very heavy fitting, so no more pink bathroom, unfortunately. And I've also done lots of miscellaneous things as I'll take you around. Um, and I'll show you the garden as well, which is um, looking good as well. So I'll start in the kitchen. Um, oh, actually, and I forgot to say, um, I've submitted the plans. So I'll put the plans as I walk around I'll try and split the plans into sections to show you what each room will turn into. Um, I'm really excited for that. So hopefully within eight to 12 weeks, we'll get an answer. Hopefully we get it first time and then we can crack on in maybe May or June, depending on the builder's availability. My builders are ready to go. We've already sorted a quote. Um, so I just need to get the planning permission and we can crack on. So let's try again. So in this room, there were kitchen units here, so they've all been removed. No nice parquet flooring in here, unfortunately. We've just got the concrete floor, but I've got the flooring up here. This is gonna be my drink for tonight. So I've removed the immersion and all the copper pipes. So should get around 50 to 60 pounds or maybe a tiny bit more for that. Quite proud of myself so far and that I actually haven't paid a single tradesman to do anything other than me. My plumber came on day one because I had that leak in the loft. Um, but other than that, I've done everything myself with the help of some family as well. So that's great that the costs are very low so far, apart from all the building costs and, um, well, planning application costs. So I've left this sink, removed all of this cupboard, and then stripped this wall and this wall. So my next job when the plans allow is to remove this boiler, which obviously I'll get my plumber to do because there's gas going into that. And then this is part of the chimney stack here, which I really want to remove, but I've got to wait for planning permission. And what I'm really pleased about with today's work is I've removed the immersion, which was in here, all the pipe work coming down and then the cupboard that was here. And you can already see how much wider this hallway is and when the entrance is so much nicer. And when I get rid of this chimney breast here, it's going to really open it up because eventually there'll be a door here going through and what is the kitchen now will be storage a storage cupboard here a hallway to the extension through that window a downstairs loo and then all of this out the back pretty much to the end of this patio will be the kitchen extension so i'm really starting to see the end picture here even though there's so long to go this downstairs loo will be part of the corridor going that way to what will be a snug room, Lydia's nursery, and then the living room back there as well in the extension, which I'll show you later. And then as I've said before, these stairs are getting flipped because they just encroach on the door. So we have flipped them that way, come up here, which will be in the old bathroom. Here's this lovely parquet floor. Now I'll show you a nice bit because it's so dirty of me going in and out. I've got this all through the hallway and all in this living room here. So it's obviously very dirty, but if you see bits that aren't too dirty, you can just see how lovely it is. And the old owner confirmed that it's oak and really well made. So I'm gonna try and use that where I can, and if we're not using anything, I'm definitely gonna look into selling it, because I'll put it on Instagram and quite a few people are interested in ready. But this room is basically being split with a wall down here, and this is gonna be our office. So I'm thinking it can definitely be in this room as a minimum. Um, and then this back bit is gonna be a large utility room. And I don't quite see how it will work in there going into the new stuff, unless we find an exact match. So in here, we've removed the bank of radiators. So they were obviously very cold here because there was three radiators, one, two, three, and then an old fashioned, almost like a plinth radiator there. 
So I've removed all of those. In fact, I've removed all the radiators in the house, which I'm quite chuffed about. As an electrician, mucking around with water is never a good idea. I've removed this fireplace and all the skirting and thing around there. I've got to remove this architrave, but so this room is looking pretty bare compared to what it was. Downstairs loo hasn't changed. This is because it's basically getting knocked through. So there's no point stripping any walls or anything like that. And it's good to have a working downstairs loo for obvious reasons. Remove the carpet and the radiator that was here. You can see a bit of spillage here. That's how dirty the water is in that radiator. And then you can see that nice parquet flooring from here. How lovely is that? More carpet up on the stairs. And then a lot of people liked my pink bathroom, so I'm sad to say the pink bathroom has gone. So I've removed it today. The loo is there, the sink and the cast iron bath. Really heavy, that cast iron bath to get out. So I got rid of that today. And the tower rail that was there. And then this space is so funny what this room's gonna become because the stairs are basically gonna come up here. And then the other part of the bathroom is just going to be a corridor going towards two new bedrooms with en suites, which will be our bedroom in that corner and our daughter's bedroom in that corner. And then no change to this room, but this will be our fourth bedroom, which is a lovely size. And everything's been stripped in here, pretty much ready for the rewire in the next couple of weeks. I can start on this old part of the house. This cupboard's been ripped out. I need to knock through those walls between here and the two storage cupboards to make the ensuite that would be here. But I just want to make sure the structural engineer says it's all okay. I'm pretty sure it is because the walls are only thin, but I just don't want to do it without making sure. You can see the beast of the pool, the cover's been removed. I'll show you out there in a second. And we've also removed four sheds and outhouses and greenhouses. Actually scrapped the greenhouse and got about 20 pounds for the aluminium, which is good. This will be the bathroom. And as I say, that's one of the walls that needs to get knocked through to make the ensuite. Can't wait for spring and summer to get those oak trees. I think they're oak trees. I know nothing about gardening or trees, but I can't wait to see them blossom in the summer and spring. I'll show you what I did in the loft just for anyone who's doing these home renovations themselves because I am definitely an amateur plumber. Whilst I know what I'm doing with electrics, I've been learning as I go over the years with plumbing. So this is the feed to the water tank. So what I did was drain the water tank um, using a pipe downstairs. There was a valve that I opened, drained it, so obviously turned the water off of the stopcock, drained the tank, and then put this push fit connector on here. And what I always do, a carpenter told me years ago, I always put a plastic bag under these things in case they do um, drip, because it's a great way of catching the water. And then this was the central heating tank that was leaking on day one and my plumber capped off on day one. So now we've got nothing coming up to the tanks, so therefore nothing coming down from the tanks. Um, that's why I knew I could remove everything, because in most houses you basically have a feed up to the tank and a feed to the kitchen sink and everything else now is off. So I'm quite chuffed with myself doing the plumbing. I've always done little bits over the years, but as this house is empty and I own it, it's kind of a good one to play around with. Some more stripped walls everywhere. Oh, I so love that cupboard being out there, really chuffed with that. Can't wait to get rid of that chimney stack. The front, nothing's really changed, but I'll just keep, I'll just show you quickly. It's nice and tidy out here, actually. Lovely day. So nothing's changed. That's where the ex we've gone to apply for extension over there. Nice day to show you guys. All right, let's go through. To the back garden. So 
So this is my hose I've been draining the immersion tank with. This is my space at the side where the extension will hopefully be. And we'll probably be rendering like the house next door. As you can see, we've had some wind and they've blown over the fence. The fence was gonna be the last job I did. I think I need to up it now for the neighbor's sake and get a quote to replace all this. Here's my garage. Nothing new going on in there. And then I'll show you guys the pool. So the back extension is pretty much gonna be from where I'm standing here, going all the way across to that side bit back there. So all nice and open plan at the back, hopefully. Having some quotes to remove these hedges and all the sapling trees. I'm just keeping these lovely big trees and trying to make it as low maintenance as possible. This pool somehow looks way more full. I guess a lot of rain's happened. The plan is to pump this water out soon, crack some holes in the bottom, and then fill it in with all the soil coming out the extension, but I've still got to take all this concrete out around the side because it's just awful. But it's an absolutely huge pool. Remove the outhouse from here. Uh, it's left a concrete base that I'll have to deal with at some stage. And then my job next week, I'm going to take that barbecue out in the corner there. It looks like a bit of a death trap. And I've removed the outhouse here that was where the train set was. Greenhouse here, and then there was a tiny shed in the corner. Then I'm hoping to do fencing all the way back here. And then what I'm tempted to do is leave this concrete base here. And in the future, in like two years or something, plant trees across here and just keep this back bit for um, sort of compost bins and storage and maybe even like a better shed um, and it'll be completely hidden out of view and the back and it'll save me getting up that concrete base as well what a lovely day so yeah these hedges I'm getting prices for to remove I'm keeping all the trees down the side keeping these beautiful four big trees but getting rid of all these sapling trees that are everywhere and trying to make it a low maintenance garden because my wife and I don't have a garden and are not really gardeners, which is ridiculous considering this is 165 foot by 63 foot. So I think we've overextended. So yeah, that's it for this week. Um, the future plans are basically finish off the tiny bits that are left. Um, hopefully we hear from the planners. I'd love to get this chimney stack out. That'd be such a big job. And the skip's not even half full as well. So that would soon fill that up. Um, I think I'm gonna have to wait a couple months for that. But I think immediately I need to start the rewire. I can actually rewire what will be the utility, what will be the study. Um, and what will be bedroom three and four can definitely get quite a lot in there as well as the downstairs hall and the landing It's obviously just stuff where I am now and then the extensions that I can't really plan for yet And I need to be a bit careful because the stairs are flipping about getting my cables back there as well But there's probably a good week's worth of just the rewire I can crack on with so I think that's going to be my next task um, and then I'll try and get my plumber in soon for him to start running pipes to those rooms as well for radiators and things like that so we're progressing well. There's gonna be a bit of a lull where we're waiting for planning, which I'm such an impatient person. It's always really annoying, but um, we'll get there in the end. Thanks to everyone for watching and thanks to everyone who's been on my website, renovationlinks.com. Um, it's a DIY comparison website me and my friend have started. Um, we're trying to update it so it's a lot more slicker um, in the next couple of months. And I think in like, you know, six months time, it's gonna be really good. But thanks to everyone who's signed up the email subscription um, we've been sending we're going to try and send offers out um, good deals like two for ones on paints and things like that and tell you where the best place to buy is for the cheapest more importantly thanks for watching and subscribing and i'll see you on the next one have a good weekend